guys, it's Samantha Cruz, your independent Scentsy consultant, and I'm back today with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make samples. And I have a special guest with me today. My first Scentsy buddy, Cozy the Koala. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Now, don't get me wrong, I never thought I was going to be purchasing a Scentsy buddy, but I had some host rewards and I said, why not? She's super cute. Um, and she comes with a scent pack. So really quick, I'm just gonna show you guys. So in her back here, she has a little pouch and you can put a scent pack in there. And this is a scented pack. This scent is satin sheets um, and it just makes her smell amazing. So we have a huge variety of scent packs available for our Scentsy Buddies. So this is Cozy. So she's gonna be hanging out with me today. So. Um, I started this video because I want to show you guys how I make samples for my Happy Mail for my customers. So I'm going to be making samples of the orange scent in the Chase Rainbows collection. So this one actually smells really good. Um, it is Wax Change Wednesday, so I did change out my favorite aloe water and cucumber scent and I put in this orange scent in my warmer here you guys can kind of see it um, because I'm going to be making samples as I said for my mailing now the chase rainbows wax collection comes out on April 11th um, and basically what it is is it's a bundle of five different wax bars so we have orange blue yellow red and green. So I'm going to be working on orange right now and I'll probably do the rest tonight, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I make samples because it's super easy and super fun. So the orange really has a strong orange smell. Um, directly from Scentsy, I'm just gonna read to you guys what the orange is. So it's bright tangerine and orange slices shine between clouds of creamy vanilla. So let me see again. It's definitely strong, I'll say that. And I have four uh, wax cubes in this warmer right now and I could definitely smell it right in front of my face. So, so this is pretty much how I make samples. I'll warm um, four wax cubes in my biggest warmer, which is this one here. Um, and right now it's all warmed down. So the wax is melted and it's just kind of sitting in my warmer. And I usually make uh, samples on these little felt um, pieces here. So these are directly from Scentsy. As you can see, it has the Scentsy logo on it. Um, and it's kind of in the shape of a clamshell. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then they have other ones. They have a little sun. They have a little flower, um, a butterfly. So super cute. So those are directly from Scentsy. Um, I ordered them last year. I have so many of them here to make samples out of. Um, and they're just pre-cut felt shapes. And then I also ordered from Amazon these thinner ones, um, which are just simple little circles. They're not that big. They're kind of stuck together, but just these simple little circles um, because I heard from other consultants that the thin felt ones kind of make um, I guess they don't take as much wax, so you don't need as many to make samples from. So I'm gonna kind of try out both and see what I do. So, or see how I do, I should say. Um, so I've laid down some parchment paper here on my desk. And I also have these little bags. So these are like little jewelry bags and they're pretty much what the samples are going to go in. And then I have to print my labels, but I am gonna print labels. Actually, I'm going to attach these to a Canva template and mail it out to my customers so that they can um, get the description of each scent and also smell it. Um, so pretty much what I do, I'm gonna try the clamshell um, wax felt piece. So I just place it in my wax and it's in there soaking up. I kinda wanna show you guys. Okay. You can kinda see it in there. So it's soaking up. And then I take my little tweezers here, and of course when I'm done, I wash my, you know, clean my tweezers, um, because this is like the best way to pick it out. Obviously I'm not gonna do it with my fingers. So, just grab it. And I let the excess 
wax kind of drip off there. And slowly but surely, it kind of dries as soon as it hits the air. And you can definitely smell it on the felt sample. So it just basically dyed my whole felt sample orange. Oh, fell back in. <laughs> so I'm just dripping it off again. Hope you guys enjoy my little background music. I'm trying something different. Um, by the way, hit the subscribe button and hit a like for me if you like the Sensi content and you want to see more from Sense by Sam C. So I just pretty much placed my felt sample on my parchment paper and I'm gonna give it um, a minute or two to kind of, you know, dry off. And then I'm also going to try my little circle here. So I'm gonna throw that in there. That was pretty quick. And then I'm just going to pick it up, maybe flip it over a little, let it really soak up. And there we go, we have another felt sample there. Still has a little bit of excess, so I'm gonna just tap it out on the rim of the um, dish here. And then I'm gonna just throw it down on my parchment paper. So, I also like, I love doing this, I like these little flower ones, so I'm gonna try a flower one. And I can throw in multiple felt samples at once because there's pretty much a lot of room here. Um, in my dish. So I just threw in four more and I'm gonna let that absorb. And I still have a lot of wax left over. So the cool thing about samples is that once I'm done making them, I can just warm the wax and just have my home smelling amazing. So while that's kind of soaking up, I'm just going to uh, show you guys the rest of the scents that I'm going to be doing later. Um, so we have blue. Now I did smell these in my unboxing video, which you can check out on my channel. Um, but I just wanna kind of read to you guys the exact, um, I guess, definitions of the scents really quick. So this is Chase Rainbow's Blue. And directly from Sensi, it's sweet notes of melon shimmer against a crisp blue sky while hints of musk add depth and dimension. So honestly, this just smells to me like, I don't know, let me take it out of the cream shell and see. Cause I'm just, I'm not, it's not like a wow. It just smells like almost like really clean laundry or laundry detergent. So we'll see how it is when I warm it. Um, I was skeptical about the orange and I actually like it now that I'm warming it. So we'll see. So let me just take these felt babies out now. And obviously the longer you keep it in there, the more um, absorbency you're gonna get in the felt, you know, sample. So, isn't that cute? And I'll place it right on my parchment paper. And this one I can actually pick up and show you guys a little bit of a closer look. So that is my clamshell sample, all orange. And it smells like the orange scent. So then I just open up my plastic jewelry bag and pop it right in here. And I'll be able to attach it to my mailing. And then when the person receives it, they can just sniff it through the bag. So it's the perfect way to get a little dose of that scent under people's noses through the mail, which is one of the quickest ways to do it because I don't see you know, my customers a lot. Um, and the scent is what sells. So I always like to get people to smell different things, especially when we have new stuff coming out like this Chase Rainbows collection. So here's my little son, super cute. I'm just gonna throw that right on my parchment. And then I have the flower and then I'll get back to the rest of the scents. And yeah, that'll be that. So this is the little flower, <clears throat> super cute. Oh, I always drop them back in. It's like never fails. My tweezers are 
pretty tiny, so. And then my cloud. Super cute. Oh, there goes the cloud. It's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna let that chill for a second. So, um, in the rest of the bundle, we have red Chase Rainbow scent. So, directly from Scentsy, this is Soft Watermelon Hues. Highlight the sweetness of cherry and strawberry. So this one, I'm not feeling in the clamshell, I'll be honest with you. Um, but like I said, it's always a different sensation when I warm it. So you never know. And I like to kind of pop it out of the clamshell and smell the bottom. I'm still not wowed by it, but we'll see when I make the samples. Then we have yellow which directly from Scentsy is Radiant Lemonade, brightened by flashes of zesty grapefruit and pineapple. This is a pretty strong one, not too bad. It's definitely, I don't really get the pineapple, I definitely get the zestiness of it, but I get more lemonade than grapefruit and pineapple. Not bad. And then I have green which directly from Scentsy is Vibrant Rays of Granny Smith Apples and Cactus Blossom Sparkle Across Serene Kiwi Water. Not really getting, maybe that's the kiwi water. Yeah, I can definitely get the kiwi and Granny Smith combination. It's honestly, it's not that bad. I would say my favorite is probably green um, with orange being a close second. And I think my least favorite is definitely red. Um, my third favorite, probably yellow and blue somewhere in the middle. So as I said, the Chase Rainbows collection comes out on April 11th. Um, you can get all five bars for $25 or you can get one single bar for $6. And you can head over to my website, which I'll link down below in the description to check out the bars for yourself um, and purchase them on April 11th if you're interested. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. So my samples are made and like I showed you guys with the other one, I just pop them right into my little jewelry bags and go from there. Um, check me out on Instagram at Sense by Sam C, where I post all of my templates and things like that um, for mailings. And you can always message me there if you want a mailing to try some of these samples. So I'm just packing them up. They're super cute. And I make sure to close the bag bags tightly because I like to preserve, you know, as much of the scent as possible. So once I have everything printed, I'll probably do a quick little showing on Instagram of how I'm going to attach these to my mailing um, flyers. And that is that. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how I make samples. And of course I can't get this one in the bag. Um, there we go. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how I made samples. Um, I'd love to welcome Co Cozy the Koala to our Sense by Sam C family as my first Sensi buddy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep making some of these samples and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit like, post a comment below if you have any questions about any of the scents and share with a friend so that we can all fill our lives with fragrance. Bye guys.